right, so I am in no means, <laughs> my shirt, I am in no means done with my mending pile, but I made a huge dent on my shoe pile and some jewelry and other stuff that's just been here. And I'm gonna show you uh, how and what stuff I did. Okay, and this is all going to the real real hopefully this week. This is a vintage Yves Saint Laurent men's shirt. Uh, the reason I think it's men's is because it says size 15. This shirt was amazing, except when I went to look at it, one of the buttons actually, I think, dry rotted off. So I had to glue the button and wait for it to dry and then find it and then sew it back on. It is now ready to go. There's a bag back here. I guess I should put the bag closer so I don't have to toss it every time. I have not pulled out the sewing machine yet because I'm not ready to start sewing at the moment. Okay, another item that, ooh, whoops, sorry. <laughs> another item that was a super quick one were just these um, Stuart Weitzman's glittery pumps. They had writing on the bottom in Sharpie. So I used the sandpaper. It's not perfect, but it's good enough. And the real real actually will list them with that stuff on the bottom. So if you're thinking, hmm, should I, shouldn't I? Because there's writing on it, go ahead, send it. The worst is they send it back and you take sandpaper. If they mark it low and you got it for low, who cares? Again, another pair. Um, these were at Goodwill. They were 75% off because they were color of the week. I think they were like $8.99 originally, so minus 75%. So they're really cute. If they do come back, they're actually 8B, so I'll keep them, but I'm sure they'll list them for $50. They'll sell for $40, and I'll get $12. I didn't pay more than $2. Uh, this is another pair. This is like a vintage Stuart Stewart Weitzman, as you can see by the tag inside. They had a nasty old uh, footbed in them that when I tried to just pull it out in one piece, it started to chalk apart. So I had to use a little bit more work on that one. Um, I definitely believe I used some goof off. I may have used some leather cleaner, um, but I got this cool tool, scraping tool when I was at the art store getting something for one of my kids. And I was like, ooh, and so I just sprayed it and it just got in there. And I scratched it till that nasty thing came out because they would have definitely sent it back because they're not fans of that. So I had to find its buddy before I put it in the bag. Another pair of vintage Saks Fifth Avenue shoes. Hi, Saks Fifth Avenue. They are, I don't know, they're crocodile, leather, they're patent, black. Um, and, you know, the real, real like Saks. So again, I had to get the stuff off the bottom. I didn't do a great job. Um, and there was some paint on it too. And that could have been from either my kids or from uh, just being very old. These are definitely old. So um, there's still a little writing on the bottom of this one. So these are gonna go um, to the real real. And I definitely didn't pay much. Whatever I paid was very minimal. Um, these, I don't know. So. Every once in a while, the real real, well, not every once in a while, on a regular basis, the real real changes their brand acceptance list. So, oh, I can see one of my little, okay. <laughs> These are Keen. Um, I don't normally buy Keen because the real real took some last year, but not a lot, but it is summertime again, so they're taking them again. These were suede and they have some damage to them. So I used one of those suede cleaners that you buy at the store. It's just literally called suede cleaner. And, um, at first I tried chalk and that was not gonna happen. They're not great, but again, they were really, really low priced and on the 75% off sale and they've just been sitting in the pile. So cleaned them up, we'll see. If not, I don't mind listing shoes. Um, these are my own personal boots. I wear shoes until they're no longer, so I have a feeling they'll be coming back. They're Donald Pliner. I didn't realize the Real Real took Donald Pliner till one of my friends in Thrifters Villa sent a bag in to the Real Real and they accepted them. So we'll try. They'll probably say, no, the wear and tear is not good, which it's not. Um, so I get it. Next up, these are nice. They're very, um, you know, like summer resorty looking. It's like a linen up here and some leather. They're made by Cable and Company in Italy. No idea, but I figure made in Italy leather. 
for men. Let's try it. They could say brand unaccepted. Oh, goody, here's that other Stuart Weitzman. You can still kind of see a little bit of the residue in there um, from the nasty. And it dusts all over the place. It's probably half of what I'm wearing right now. Um, this is a shirt I've thrifted ever since I watched the Lula Ridge documentary. And I'm a thrifter. I've made note of whenever there's Lula stuff there. And their stuff is incredibly soft. And you can always tell when a consultant or demonstrator or whatever they use for their word has stepped away because there's a ton of new with tags. And so I think I paid like 25 cents for this and it was new with tags. So I'm gonna use this as my cleaning shirt. So Roberta, this is for you. <laughs> um, this is a little girl's Rachel Zoe top. It had a ton of strings hanging at the bottom and uh, Oh, it had a hole in it too that I sewed up and it had been washed a bunch of times. So I used a little piece of, there's this fabric tape. It's amazing. You never have to sew again kind of thing, but you do have to sew. I mean, it's like hem stuff. It's an emergency hemmer kind of tape. I, it's hard to find um, these days. I used to be able to find it much more easily. And I, I put that in the back flaps because it, they were flapping out and it they were gonna tell me it was too worn or something. And this way, at least, it was like popping out of the back. And this way, at least, it's going to lay flat. Uh, so, again, it was infant children, so I didn't pay very much. Another category that I always tell you to remember to go for is glasses. These are prescription. And I know I've said in the past they're Dolce & Gabbana. And I've said in the past that you have to take the lenses out. Well, if I took the lenses out, and this lens is cracked, if I took the lenses out, then I don't know how the frames would stand based on the way these are designed. So I left them in. Um, I did have to do a little bit of repair because one of these pieces, you can see they're different colors. That's the old one, and I probably should replace that one as well, but at the moment, I couldn't find another one of these. Um, I used that tiny little screwdriver, and... Like I said before, I've got a case like this at the grocery store in the checkout line, and I just use a tiny little screwdriver to help me mend, I mean tiny, to help me get into the crevices. Here is a pair of Valentino eyeglasses. Um, they don't have the frames in them, I mean the, the lenses in them right now, and I showed in the short that what I do when I take the lenses out, I actually have to go and get a pair of eyeglasses lenses for myself updated. So I'm gonna bring all the lenses to the eyeglass place and hopefully they'll have a place to donate them or they'll know of a place when I get there. So I have a whole bag full of lenses um, to donate. And also some frames that I bought at an auction that definitely are not real, real material. And I don't even wanna send the thread up, but I figure someone that needs lenses, I'm happy to donate, it's like 10 pair. So two pairs of these, two pair, then there's, oh, I love these. These are Versace. They sent them back. And if they send them back again, I'm gonna keep them. They said they don't like the style. Well, I love them. And it's not really my style as you can see, but they're cute. And if all I'm gonna have to pay for are the lenses, I might keep the frames because I think they're stinking cute. Um, I actually might, I don't know. Let's try one more time because I can make a fortune on them. They're the Versace, and I know I didn't pay very much. Um, okay, I want to put those in a case before I do that. Next up, we have a Burberry bag. I was so excited to find it. Um, it was really beaten up when I got it. And the edges, as you can see, the, the bumpy leather is a little bit worn down. So I used black acrylic paint and just touched up the edges a little bit. And it's beautiful. And they love Burberry at The Real Real. This I also had to clean. It was kind of gunky. But it's a great little bag. And um, it's not my size. I thought it was navy too. So I was a little nervous about doing the black on it. But you can't tell. It still looks good. And it's, I mean, it's gorgeous. So I'm going to send this to them. And yeah, that's good. That was an easy fix up. <sighs> a little more intense of a fix up. I got Bally men's loafers and I thought it was just a polish that they were going to need but no as I was cleaning first I did the, the leather spray you know the, uh, 
first I did, I used this just to kind of give it a nice clean look because they were dusty too. And then when I did that, I realized it was more than just something that um, Doc Martin Wonder Bomb could fix because it was actually cracked. The leather was cracked in the, in the, I'm guessing a bunion or something. So what I did was I, I bought this leather color kit and it's like men's leather and I mend, not men's. And I use that and hopefully that will stay. I'm not really professional at mending leather, but it was just a tiny crack. So I don't know, they may return it for more wear. And if so, I'll either try to do it again myself or take it to a cobbler. I haven't ventured out to a cobbler yet because I'm trying to really learn how to do these skills myself. Uh, these men's ginormous sorrel boots <laughs> were just kind of in great shape except um they had the goop on the bottom from the store and i need that tag remover thing yeah there we go all right uh, and they weren't looking good they were looking beat up so i used the hunter uh, boot clear cleaner kit. I sprayed them and then I wiped them down and they look super shiny. You can see the before and after in the short or maybe I'll stick it into this one if I can get all that stuff figured out. So these are ready to go and they're in lovely shape. These <laughs> not in as great a shape. Uh, they're a little flimsy. They've been through the washing machine first. I did that to get the insides out. Then I also used the leather shiny i mean not the leather the hunter boot kit and it doesn't look like i did it up here because this looks a little bit more dull so it's a great little investment it's like 25 dollars, and it's you're supposed to use it for hunter but i use it on all rainbows because why not i found another pair of glasses i believe these were sent back yeah these are some kate spades that were sent back so we're gonna send them back Again, this is all stuff that was just literally sitting in this pile that you'll probably see beforehand. Um, another pair of glasses. Uh, they sent these back. They're Oliver Peoples. They sent them back for style. So I think they look just like the ones I have. Um, I have an Oliver Peoples dust bag because my glasses that I'm getting my new lenses for are Oliver Peoples. So maybe since it has the dust bag, they'll take it this time. You never know what the real deal. It's all about appearance. I mean, look, if you want to buy a bag and it's got the dust bag that goes with it, it makes you a little happier because you feel like it's more complete, at least for me. Um, some silver that I polished. I loved this. I don't know if they'll take it or not, if it's real or not. It's heavy. It's so cute though. I can't find any markings, but I also didn't get out the loop to look because I just love it. And I just think it's so fun. I don't need a cake knife, but so let's hope they take it. <laughs> then there's some more silver that I bought. Sometimes I'll go and the Goodwill has like a bag full or any thrift store has like a bag full of silverware and some of it's mixed stainless and it's mixed in with sterling. So I did find a few pieces of sterling. And again, these were already like sitting right here beneath me causing me to be like why do you have so much junk so i just polished them up we'll see if they take them or not these are sterling um i also polished up which was in a death pile my husband i gave years ago a tiffany and company um key ring and i guess he stopped using it um so it's gonna go and then this, I don't know why I held on to it for so long. As you guys know, I'm from New Orleans and this is from a New Orleans jewelry designer named Mignon Fege. And I could put it on eBay and probably do a lot better, but I'm gonna try the real real because as you all know, I'm the lazy lister, so I don't really want a list. This is a ring that my high school boyfriend gave me. So I do believe since I've been married 20 years and with my husband for 25, that this can go. <laughs> So we're going to try and see what the real real does with Mignon Fege. And yeah. And I'm going to send it also with like this sterling silver creamer, which I've sent before. And I believe they've sent back because they're not interested. Again, more things that they've sent back. Oh, no, no. These are just things in my death pile. Oh, no, no. no these they sent back. 
Okay, these were when this summer when we went through stuff with my aunt. These are sterling silver uh, shirt things, shirt accents um, with the letter S. So I'm guessing they were my grandpa on my dad's side because that's my maiden name starts with an S. Um, then I have when we went to Paris uh, when my young, my oldest was almost two. They I buy both my children, they have charm bracelets because instead of buying tchotchkes, I thought, oh, this is fantastic. I will buy them a really nice sterling silver charm bracelet. I have a gold one my mom gave me when I graduated high school, but they're kids. I'm not getting them gold ones. And the price of gold was much lower back then. Um, but I still said sterling for the kids, gold for mom. And uh, I bought, because I thought if I do this, then I won't buy tchotchkes wherever we go. Well, guess what? Now I have to buy tchotchkes and the charm because that's just how it works. But I've learned that if you buy the charm before you go, like on a silver website versus in Paris, it's a lot cheaper. Um, now they get to pick their own, but when they were little, that's what we did. But this one I bought and it was a dinky little Eiffel Tower charm and I I found a better one. I don't know if it was in Paris or not, but so it's going to go. Um, so yeah. Then I also have, um, I love, I bought this um, Pandora charm for Christmas and I can't keep track of who I gave them to because I usually buy a bunch of them on Rue La La um, when they're on sale. And since I can't remember who I gave which one to, I don't know if they take Pandora, but it's new in the bag, so maybe. Um, this was also sent back. It's a antique watch clip. So it's gonna go back. I bought this coin, which I believe is real. Um, it's a brooch and they sent it back. So I'm gonna try one more time. Um, then I found this random sterling silver tab. Uh, I don't know. So it's, it's marked, so we're going to send it in. Uh, okay. And again, this was all stuff that was here, like on my desk or under my desk, just making me nuts. So I, I said, you know what, Robin, clean it up. Come on, girl. Okay. So, uh, okay. Then there were, now these shoes aren't done yet because they're still dripping, if you can see. <laughs> these are Columbia, I don't know, are they kids or women's? They're size five, so I'm gonna go with women's gray boots and they're in fantastic shape. I um, sprayed them with my Dawn spray soap, not, not the regular spray, but the spray one. And then I go into the shower with them and I, I learned that from Ryan and Lindsay, and I believe they do it with like an electric one. But my electric one has a plug, so we're not gonna go there. That's my my little battery black and decker one. Um, oh, I also found these aren't done yet either. These are little baby Jordans. They I need to I did the shower thing with them, but I need to get my other tool out that cleans, you know. The, I know people say use a screwdriver. I guess I could because that's right here. So here's a flathead, but I don't know because it's little. And I'm going to clean in between the grooves. Again, these are all tips I learned from other people. I did not come up with them. Oh, shoot. But you know what? While I'm doing this, I'm so glad I am. I see that I haven't gotten the marker off yet at the top with the, um, with the Goodwill number. I believe these were like $7. And so if they sell them for $50, i am I don't know. The laces are inside. I thought I'd bought them without the laces. And then when I got home, I was like, ooh, bonus. There's laces in there. So that's excellent. Um, they're not ready to go yet. And there's more. There's more. There's more. In the shower, there is a vintage Christian Dior skirt that they took the jacket and they didn't take the skirt. And then one day I left a marker open on my desk and the marker bled on the skirt. Luckily, it was not permanent. And it is, it all dripped out. So I'm hanging it to dry. Also, there's a um, Messino, who's it called? Tie that has spots on it. And I'm trying to figure out how to get that out. It's silk. So it's been a, a challenge. 
but I am nowhere near done. Uh, oh, one more thing I do see that it's ready to go. I'm nowhere near done uh, with my mending slash death pile, but this made a huge dent, especially these big old honkers. Um, <laughs> and these two, these, are, these aren't done yet because I had to wait for the leather to dry. Um, these are men's Uggs uh, boots. Um, I did the magic eraser. I did the swirly thing. I did the spray thing. I did everything. They're not going to be super clean. I mean, I could probably use a toothbrush, but I'm not going to do that. Um, I do want to clean up the leather a little bit before I send them and they need to dry before I do that. Like I said, so yeah, that's kind of what I did today just to quiet the brain because it's Sunday and I want to start and this coming week personally as well as well just personally is going to be a busy busy week and I want to make sure that I'm calm and uh, everything that I can do now is done and you know see what happens from there um and yeah that's about it I'm sure there's more stuff around here that I can't see because it's a hot mess in here but the pile has gotten so much better and I really want to thank you all for being along this journey with me because you motivated me to whether you knew it or not you motivated me to clean up stuff that I already had and just get it out and hopefully um It'll be up on the real reel at some point. And also what I would like to do is I shared that haul with you from February. Uh, that was a real real haul and they've almost finished processing it. And once they have, I would really like to share with you what they took from that haul and what they didn't and what it's priced at. I have to tell you that some of the things I'm super excited about, you're going to have to wait. It was things that I was learning about. If you remember from that haul, I told you I learned things from the girls in the Thrifters Villa group. Um, you may want to go back and see what it was because it's real and it's going to be a great price. So, um, yeah, definitely go back and watch that one. And I will thank you so much for being here this Sunday with me. And if you could like, and subscribe, if you want, share with a friend, make sure to mention hashtag the lazy lister Robin to resale, and I will see you on our next journey. Thanks. Have a great one.